Hello everybody, I hope all of you are doing fine, right? Okay, so last time we had created a video about how to fill Kset application form. Detailed video, link is in the comments. Now, in that video, lot of you have asked many questions. While you were filling form, there were certain things that were a little bit confusing. So taking your feedback, we have come up with this video where we are going to talk about the questions that you have asked. So majority, the questions are six kind of questions. One is how to find your SATS number. Many students have asked this question. Then there were questions about documents upload, what kind of documents to upload, one document, multiple documents. There were certain questions where students have said that for improvement marks, which year marks to add or what marks it to put in. Another question was, can other state students apply for KSET? Very important question, how to connect to KEA? And there was another question that some people have appeared for or registered for KCET last year, what to answer in such questions which are being asked in the forms. So here we have the first question, how to find SATS number. What is SATS number? It is Student Achievement Tracking System specifically for all the students who are studying in Karnataka irrespective of the board. Now the best way to find SATS number, believe me, personal experience, best way to find SATS number is to connect with your school from where you did your 10th boards. This is the best, the easiest way to find SATS number. You go there, Tell them the school has to maintain it, they will give to you. In case you are unable to do that for whatever reason, the next way is to actually go to this website. Now the link of this website is given in the comments, you can copy it from there. And here you enter the relevant details, the district, the block, then you put the cluster, now you put district, the block will be coming with the drop down list of blocks that would come. You put a block, a drop down list of cluster would come. Then you enter a few words of your school, there will be a drop down list that would come, you can select your school. Once you have selected your school, this number would be auto filled, you don't need to fill the school code. If you have school ka naam thik likha hai, ek drop down list aega, usme se apna school select kariye, this would be auto populated. Uske baad apna naam, I'm sure, sabko apna naam pata hoga, lekin wahi naam likhiega, which has been put in the grade 10th mark sheet, right? Nicknames, no. Nobody recognizes them. And of course, your date of birth, please select the gender and select, click on search. If it is updated out there, you would get your SATS ID, name, DOB, father name, etc., etc. being put in here. So that's the second way of finding the SATS number. But again, the best way is, please go to your school from where you did your 10th from, they are going to give you your SATS number. But one more thing, for certain students, this may, may not work. We have tried it a couple of times, sometimes it did, for certain students it didn't. Honestly, I don't know the answer of that. So I would say, in case it is not working here, the best way is to, exactly, go back to your school. Ask them the SATS number, government has mandated every school to keep a SAT number of every child, irrespective of the board, CBSC, ICSC, state board, in Karnataka, every school is mandated to do that, they will give you, okay? Now, let us go to the next question, which is documents upload. Now, when we made the last video, a lot of questions were asked, because the list of documents which was being asked, bahut sari thi. So, uh, even uh, since last time to this time, the list has been changed by the uh, by, by KEA. So, abhi agar aap document upload ki baat karte hain, so these are the documents which come for the uploading as of now, which is SSLC 10 standard marks card or equivalent certificate, passport size photo, thumb photo, signature and study certificate class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, abhi ye 5 certificate dene hain or else if you've got one certificate, that would work. Well, as per our information, if you've got one certificate, which gives the details of 
all the classes, one study certificate giving detail from grade 1 till grade 10th. You can upload that multiple time because other grade 1 to grade 10th, all classes, sabi classes ka study certificate, ek certificate mein hai, it will be applicable for class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, upload it as many times. All right. Now, whatever I am talking is based upon the information that is available in public domain, the discussions which we have done with experts, but you can definitely verify it by going to or talking to the actual KEA officials. Kaise? We'll talk about that later. Okay. So that covers the document upload. Hope that is clear. No need of putting all five. One is sufficient, but upload it five. Okay. Moving ahead. Now, the next question which the students had asked was that for improvement exam students, which year marks to add? So, there are certain students who had passed some years back uh, last year, but they are appearing for improvement exams this year. So, last year ka marks rakhna hai, is saal ka marks rakhna hai, kya karna hai? So, the answer is, please give the marks, the copy of the mark sheet which you have right now. Once the improvement marks are obtained, the government will give you, the KEA will give you an opportunity to modify or change the marks, the higher marks or, you know, the latest marks that you have got. So, students who are writing for improvement examinations, whatever you have got right now, please update it. Later when the results are declared, you would get an opportunity to upload the latest mark sheet. Hope that answers the question. Question number four, can other state students apply for KCET 2024? Well, that's a very tricky question. The basic, the basic eligibility criteria is that you should have studied for seven years in Karnataka, irrespective of the board. You should have studied for seven years in Karnataka, maybe grade one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight took a break of 9th, went somewhere in 9th, came back in 10th, then 11th, 12th, in continuity or in break, that should have been spent in Karnataka. Then you are eligible to apply for KCET. Lekin, but, 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 if you go to the information bulletin, which I have asked in my last video to download, in case you don't know, there is a link down, please download the information booklet. There, from page number 16 to 23, there are various you know, eligibility sections. Say, it is said, if your parents were domiciled, you are allowed. If you are Canada speaking, you are allowed. So, please have a look, even if you are not from Karnataka, but if you fulfill those criteria, you are eligible. So, it's a long list. We cannot cover here. Please download the information bulletin. Definitely download the information bulletin. I could find that between page 16 to 23. There are eligibility clauses which if you fulfill, you're allowed. But understand, whatever eligibility you are falling under, uska documentary proof or evidence dena zaruri hai. Hope that's clear to you. Moving to question number five. How to connect to KEA? Well, uh, I don't know why this question was asked because it's pretty obvious. It's on the internet. So you have the contact details of KEA right here. You have got the timings of the phone. Now, what I've heard, I'm not, you know, very sure, but this time government has made sure that 24 cross 7, whenever you want to go, you can visit this particular address and there would be one person who would be available to answer all your queries in person. But before going, please make sure this is the phone number, this is the email where you can write and confirm your appointment with the person. Now, that's how you connect to KEA. Okay, clear? All right. Moving to question number six and the last question here. There is a question which let me show you. When you are filling the form, ye question pushte hain. Did you appear for CET NEET NATA exam earlier to this year? Now, the word is appear. Did you appear? Now, if you have registered and not appeared, you should write no. 
but if you have appeared in CT, please put your CT ka admission ticket number and your year of appearance. So understand there are two different things. One is registered, one is appeared. If you have appeared, please, please, please mention it here. All right. So these were the six major questions which were asked in my last video. I've tried to answer this. If you've got more questions, please feel free to put down your all questions and doubt in the comment section below and I would be able to answer that. I'll find out from all the relevant sources. But remember guys, I've tried to take, get the answers of all these questions from information that is available in public domain. I've talked to various experts, I've talked to various teachers, people who are expert in CT form filling. But please understand, agar aapko kahi pe bhi doubt lagta hai, the right person to connect is here. These are the right people to connect. Please make sure if you've got any doubt, connect with them. So I've tried to answer all of your questions which you had put in the video last. So thank you very much. But before you actually log off, please understand Diksha is going to start their CET crash course, a power pack crash course for 28 days that will equip you with all the necessary skills to qualify and get a good rank in CET. In case you want to know more about it, of course, there's a link, click there, put in your information and somebody from Diksha team will connect with you. With this, signing off, thank you very much. Bye-bye.